we can see an increased posterior drawer confirming injury to the PCL. This is now an arthroscopic view performing the posterior drawer, which demonstrates laxity on the intact ACL. The PCL has been torn from its femoral attachment, seen here. I have now identified and retrieved the retracted PCL, and with the aid of anterior drawer, I can further mobilize this tissue. This patient has also suffered a medial meniscus root tear, seen here. Subsequently, a root repair is performed. Sutures have then been placed around the torn PCL tissue, and a grasper is utilized to plan for the site of the PCL repair onto the femoral condyle. The suture anchors have now been placed into the femur, securing the repair stitches and the PCL tissue. We can see now the ACL tissue has appropriate tension, with now appropriate tension and restoration of the PCL. The posterior drawer is again performed, demonstrating stability of both the ACL and PCL.